Hello friends, I hope you are well. Welcome to a new vlog. Tomorrow is the first day of spring and with the weather getting better, it's time to clean up the garden. But first, let's drink some coffee and do some housework. Coffee first, of course. Morning coffee by the kitchen window and writing or reading is my way of starting the day. The early morning hours are the time when everything is quiet and helps me to calm my mind. If you remember, Writing or reading in the morning works better for me than meditation. Time to start my to-do list for today. Today is all about taking care of the house and garden. I do a little house cleaning every day, so I don't have a mass cleaning, but some things need my attention today. I start by cleaning the kitchen counters, so the kitchen will be ready for breakfast later. Before cleaning the room, the girls are given breakfast. And, as usual, Yuma had to eat out of my hand. The next thing for today, brushing. I always start with Eira, as she doesn't like it. The opposite of Nala and Yuma. When they see I brush Eira, they want to be brushed too. Aira allows me to brush her, but she waits for any moment she can escape. And this is how brushing often ends.
while the girls are in the garden, I vacuum and change blankets and pillowcases. It's also time to wash the curtains. While Nala prefers to run in the garden on warm days, Yuma likes to stay close to me. So, after doing the necessary dog business, she came back. This has some advantages. When Nala returned from the garden, the snacks were given to both girls. I was getting hungry, but before I could make breakfast, I had to hang out the washing and put the curtains back on the window.
Today I'm going to make an omelette for breakfast. It's quicker than pancakes and I want to spend more time in the garden. It's still March, the days aren't that long. I will eat the omelette with grape kiwi jam and Greek lactose free yogurt. Instead of flour, I'm adding ground almonds. Time for another coffee. This time I drink it while working in the garden. I will start with the Mirabel tree. It's a very old tree. It's almost 50 years old. When I moved here six years ago, the tree was not producing any fruit. I was told it had stopped producing fruit 10 years earlier. In the third year of living here, I noticed that the tree was densely covered with ivy. I noticed it in winter. It's hard to see in summer when there's a lot of green. It's much easier when the branches are bare. I removed the ivy from the tree as best as I could. During the summer, the tree produced fruit for the first time in 10 years. Mirabel plums are like teeny yellow plums. The difference is that they are very sour, but they are perfect for making sour homemade jam. And you know, I love sour. Anyway, since then, every year before summer, I remove the ivy that tries to get to the tree. I have nothing against ivy but I do not want it on the Mirabel tree.
And this is how Nala and Yuma are helping me. The next task for today is to clean my garden office. Well, it's not really an office, it's just a place in the garden where I like to sit and relax in the summer, drinking coffee, reading, writing and drawing. In the winter, my partner takes over this space and uses it to cut firewood. After the winter, it is covered with sawdust. If I want to have a nice place again, I have to clean it up. This cycle repeats itself every year. This is the first wheelbarrow of sawdust. I have not finished removing the sawdust. To stay motivated, before I fill another wheelbarrow, I will clean solar lamps and chairs. Changing tasks helps me not to get bored and to finish what I have planned. You can apply this rule to many other things.
Back to removing sawdust. It's amazing how much is left after winter. Time for a late lunch. Working outside makes you feel good, but it also makes you hungry. For lunch today I'm making pasta with tomato sauce and smoked tofu. I'm a bit tired and this lunch is quick and easy to make. After lunch I want to make a dessert. Last week I bought some ready-made puff pastry and forgot about it. Today I finally did something with it. I was going to cut the pastry into squares as usual, but the pastry broke when I rolled it out. So I thought of something else. I used tin William Spears for the filling. I would have preferred fresh, but the shop was out of stock. I bake pastries for 20 minutes. While pastries are in the oven, I make coffee. 
I will take it to the garden with the pastries to officially open the garden season. In 2-3 weeks, when the mornings are warmer, I will be drinking my morning coffee in my garden office. For coffee, as usual, I use unsweetened soy milk. I spend a lot of time here in the summer. I drink my morning coffee here. When I have more time during the day, I sit here and read or draw. I also like to sit here and watch the sunset. Sometimes I stay until it gets dark. I can look at the moon and the stars. This is how I spend my time. Some people prefer noisy, crowded places like cafes, shopping centers and busy streets. And that's fine too. That's the beauty of life. We are different and we are meant to be. Thank you for spending time with me and my girls. My work in the garden is not done yet, but that is another story for another vlog. Next week I'll be getting ready for Easter. Stay tuned! See you soon!